So what about flannel shirts? Before I go into what I like about it and what I don't like about flannel shirts, for me, in my opinion, flannel shirt is more of like a a choice. You know what I mean? Like uh, you could possibly wear anything else during the winter or spring or even the summer, uh, but you make a choice to wear flannel shirts. Uh, it has a function in my wardrobe. Halloween is upon us, and uh, what am I going to be this Halloween? I'll show you in the next video, but it has something to do with this. An old X. <laughs> Not old, but I'm going to modify it. I'm going to extend it, make it look like a weapon of some sort, medieval weapon. Uh, and I'll show that to you here in a minute, what I've come come up with. Uh, and gives you a little bit an idea what I'm going to be this Halloween. Like anything else, I'm probably going to talk while I'm working. And, um, you know, flannel is almost um, as part as a vintage t-shirt to any heritage clothing, in my opinion. And that's why I want to talk about it because some men think that flannel style has gone and went uh, but there are places in this world in which it's actually a part of a wardrobe every winter or when it's cold I mean people make choices all the time you can choose to wear a knitted sweater instead of a flannel shirt or denim shirts instead of a flannel shirt first let's talk about functionality what I like about the functionality of flannel shirts is that you can layer them it'll keep you warm probably on not so cold days but you can none nonetheless uh, wear them when it's cold outside Uh, what about purpose? What is the purpose of flannel shirt in heritage clothing? Um, I know it's used in other, you know, uh, styles as well and fashion. Uh, it is a trend sometimes, sometimes it goes away. Uh, but in heritage and classic fashion, it's never gone away. Well, ready to be uh, welded in and prepped. Let me show what I got. Probably gives you a good idea on what I'm going to be for Halloween. Guess, guys. <laughs> I think most of our clothing has a purpose. You know, heritage clothing, the purpose of that really is to show off, pay homage to the work clothes. You know, if you're at the mall, do you really need to wear flannel shirts? Maybe. But whatever, right? For me, no. If you're riding a motorcycle and it's nippy outside, yeah, that's a purpose. 
but that's that's just me. Close enough. Let's get to straighten them out. <laughs> Versatility. What's not to love about the versatility of flannel clothing? I mean, on warm weather, you can wear something light like this, and then on cold weather, you can wear something thicker. Or this one. Different colors, it's, it's amazing. It's got different colors to match different things. Flannel is just, it's classic, you know what I mean? It's, it's always gonna be there. It's timeless. It's always gonna be in style. And it goes with heritage clothing so well. Another thing I love, cost guys. There is a price for everyone when it comes to flannel. Now, you can go crazy and buy expensive flannel or you can just buy the cheap ones. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. Me personally, I can't imagine paying for flannel that's cost about $500. You know, the high cost of flannels. Um, and I get it. It's like buying salvage jeans, right? We pay a lot of money for some of the brands of salvage jeans, but I would rather find my flannels from places like thrift stores or secondhand stores or used from somebody else because I think saving money so that I can spend my money on the right things like, you know, salvage jeans and boots. <laughs> but I would love to have an expensive piece of you know, history like sugarcane on flannels anyways, or Ironheart on flannels. So maybe I'll save some money and then I'll buy some, some of those and then I'll make another video on what I think the differences are. But I'm satisfied with flannels from, uh, you know, thrift stores, secondhand and things like that. Check out this uh, old church behind me, guys. It's still being used today here in Hawaii. I think I think this one was built back in the 19 early 1900s, and they maintain it and it's still being used. Kealii Okamalu. Yeah, pretty cool. The last one I want to talk about is uh, durability. I think uh, most flannel shirts are recycled up because of durability. They last uh, and they patina really nice. You know, this shirt right here is from Edwin. I got it from Japan. Uh, nothing expensive. I think it's around, I don't know, 80 bucks, 100 bucks. And this thing has been around for a long time, probably, I don't know, 20 years maybe right this flannel shirt right here crazy colors but i love it because again it is heritage it has a history you know it's made in japan it's from edwin uh, and carefully made and it's very durable versatile and all those good things right that i have to say about flannel shirts i really don't have anything much bad to say about flannel shirts um, you know if you do think that you have something good or bad to say about flannel shirts or if you like them you don't like them you can comment down in the uh, 
in the comment section below and let, let us know, you know, start a discussion. But love, love my Flannels shirts, guys. And I think it is the time to wear them now it's here in Hawaii. It's getting cooler and it's uh, bearable to wear it. Um, I know some of you are in really cold weather and it's time to layer up, maybe put a jacket on or something like that, right? So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to kind of be as versatile as possible in this video. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what other videos you want to see. And uh, I really thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. That's all I have for you this week. Aloha. In case you're wondering what happened to what I was working on. Does it give you a clue yet? <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow is Halloween here.